Can we, can we give it up for Kelly real quick? Doesn't she look great? Can everyone give it up for Kel? Uh, so, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Nick. Uh, I've known Mike and Kelly for a little over nine years now, and we've been through a lot together. Um, lots of long weekends away, plenty of Red Sox games, concerts, uh, but one of my best memories with these guys was actually the first time we met. So chime in if you want to correct me or if I'm telling you wrong. <laughs> um, to keep it short, because there's a lot going on that day, and there's also that open bar I really, really want to get to. Um, it was junior year, and we were on our way from school uh, to a Bruins game. School had a bus trip, and um, they took a bunch of students down. I don't know if anyone else was there that day, but for some reason, the bus ended up late to the game. We ended up over by Logan. I don't know if anyone remembers that, but um, I just remember getting to the game late. We missed most of the first period, and I ran off the bus. I just wanted to get into the game. <laughs> I'm finally at the game, and we go to the special section that school had for us, and I wanted to grab a quick drink. I was finally 21 years old. I wanted to grab a beer. I really just wanted a course. Um, I get to the kiosk, and for some reason, that section was out of beer, or they weren't serving me beer, or for, for some reason I couldn't get a beer. Um, so there I am, late to this game, beerless, and I want to go to, I want to, go to my seat. I'm, just, I'm the last one in. I want to run to my seat. It's a general admission area. I just wanted to get to my seat, and the only seat left was in front of this big brick pole. <laughs> Like this. So there I am, late to this game, gearless, watching around it, watching the game around a big brick pole. And I look to my left, and there's these two. As happy as ever. Not a care in the world. It was like nothing was going wrong back then. And to be honest, 21 year old Nick at the time thought, why are these two so happy? I don't even have a beer yet. <laughs> But when I thought about it, when I thought about that moment ever since, I just remember the pure joy and happiness they both had in that moment. It didn't matter where they were, it didn't matter what they were doing, it didn't matter that anything was going wrong, they were just happy because they were together. And that's held true for, I know, right? They're, they're cute. It's gross. <laughs> So, and that's all true for everything I've ever done with Mike and Kelly. No matter where we are or what they're doing, their love and pure joy for one another comes through in every situation. You can feel it when you're around them. And, yeah, right? <laughs> and as someone that spent a lot of time with them over the past nine years, um, I can tell you that their happiness and love for one another seems to come through no matter what we're doing. It seems to make every situation okay. You know you're not gonna have a bad day when you're with Mike and Kelly. So, if you could join me, I'd like to toast my two best friends on their new lives together. To Mike and Kelly.